Major League Baseball was on thin ice in the Pacific Northwest in the early 1990s. The Kingdome was on its last legs, and the Mariners were perennial losers with a dwindling fan base. Then something incredible happened on the way to relocation. The Mariners shocked the Yankees in a 1995 playoff match, and the city rallied to build a new stadium and keep the team in Seattle. Safeco Field, the safe, or the house that Griffey built, is the home of the Seattle Mariners and a must-see on the West Coast Stadium circuit. Since opening in 1999, it's generally recognized as one of the top five stadiums in the big leagues. The Mariners have been a huge disappointment this season, but they still have Ichiro and some of the most passionate fans in baseball. There's not a bad seat in the house, and there's even views of the Puget Sound. Safeco is also surprisingly kid-friendly, with a baseball wishing well, a candy store, and a mini playing field to boot. On the negative side, the beer was pricey and the lines were really long, even into the seventh inning. And what's with the constant, nauseating stench of garlic fries? The dancing moose was a little bit hokey, and some of the banners on the upper deck were a little bit confusing. The place was also noisy, with a steady stream of trains running by and a construction job banging away across the street. We really love the Mariners Hall of Fame, which celebrated the team's 33-year run in Seattle. And we were so inspired by the team's tribute to Edgar Martinez that we wouldn't leave town until we met the main man himself. All in all, two thumbs up for Safeco Field. Check it out next chance you get.